So just another quick video about a new feature that was added to Virtual DJ 2021, latest public release, which is 6156, and that is Analyze Songs on View. And what is this thing? Well, it's actually pretty well hidden because if I go into the change lock, I need to go into early access, change lock, and maybe do a search for analyze. And you can see it, analyze songs on view option. That was actually in 6150, but that eventually became the 6156 public release. If you go up here to standard lock, but if you see that 6156, it does not say anything about this feature. So you need to see it in the early access, because if you search here for analyze, it'll jump way back to 2017 and the improved BPM and gain analyzer. So that's something totally different, but also worth uh, noticing. And I'll get back to why in a second. So it's pretty well hidden, but uh, only in release notes, because if you actually go into the software and uh, you go into the, the options here and you search for it, it's right here, analyze songs and view. And just before we get to that, I'm just gonna mention the key BPM uh, on Analyze update, and that was the thing I was talking about right before. So I got a couple of questions saying I just updated Virtual DJ, and now it starts analyzing all my tracks again. So why is that happening? And that's actually only if you have uh, updated from a very old version from 2017, because that's actually the improvement you saw in my search before, the new BPM analyzer. If you uh, if you upgrade beyond that from a, so your own, your old version was between from before 2017, yes, then it by default will start analyzing your tracks again because the thing it, it thinks it can do a better job. If you don't want that, you can simply disable it here. But that's not really the point of this video, that was just a little side note. So what does Analyze Songs on View do? Well, let's not enable it to begin with because that's actually the default. So if I have a lot, these are just regular folders that represent some albums. So if I dig into some of them, you can see I haven't done a pretty good job because a lot of these tracks haven't been analyzed and nothing happens. But if I then enable this new feature, like this, then you can actually see it start analyzing. And as you can see on my particular laptop right here, it was analyzing three uh, tracks at the same time. That's based on how many free CPU cores you have. So it's not gonna do this if your laptop can handle it. As just uh, like when doing a lot of other stuff in Visual DJ, uh, it'll figure out uh, when it does stuff in the background, it'll figure out if your laptop can actually ha handle it with its current uh, um, current load and only do it if it can. But right now this is pretty powerful. So whenever I change into a new folder that has BPMs that hasn't been analyzed, you see it starts analyzing them. What you can also see is that it does not analyze tracks that are already analyzed. So you don't have to worry about uh, analyzed tracks where you have maybe uh, changed the BPM or you have maybe like uh, slashed it in half because it detected it uh, at double speed or whatever. It won't touch that. It will only do uh, the analyze of the, um, of the tracks in the browser in the where it hasn't been analyzed yet. So where does this work? Well, this were just, these were just regular folders that re represented albums. So right on the hard drive. So uh, what else could, can we check? Well, what about the online ones? Well, if I go into, for instance, say, uh, a title uh, folder that I have a playlist here. You can see that it does not start, start analyzing those. And why is that? Well, it would have to download them first, right? And that's a little bit of a task to like multi download this. So that's not going to happen. So these online music folders or, or playlist will not uh, be affected by this new feature. 
with others will. So if I, for instance, go into my, my library, which is a plugin that helps you with a lot of filter photos, and I go into, let's just say, artist, and I pick a letter, E. See, that works too. So now all artists, with the, starting with the letter E, on a, my hard drive that this has found will get reanalyzed. You see, there's actually a couple here that has been uh, downloaded to cache probably, but are actually online tracks, so that it's not analyzing those. Another really important thing is that it is on view. So right now, it's looking at these things because you can view them, but as you can see, I have a lot more tracks with artists starting with the letter E. So if I scroll down, it'll analyze the ones it can now see. So it only analyzes the ones that it can see. It doesn't go crazy with anything out of the view scope, if you will. So that's the important part. It doesn't go crazy. It just analyzes the one that you're actually looking at. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so that's that's just a a tiny little uh, tiny little look into the new uh, analyze songs, songs on view feature that has been with the latest release, but it's been pretty well hidden, so some might have missed it.